President Idi Umnengogwa says he won't be sleeping less on August 23rd. President Emerson Umnengogwa made a dramatic speech to a cheering crowd in Mutawatawa, Uzamba district, in which he reaffirmed his unflinching confidence in winning the upcoming elections on August 23rd. The 80-year-old leader, who was running for re-election, declared that he was confident in winning and predicted that the opposition's efforts would be in vain. Umnengogwa yelled. Even if the opposition votes with ears, legs, and fingers, there is nothing they can do, in front of tens of thousands of ardent party supporters. The elections will be won by us. The crowd applauded and cheered the president's courageous speech, which strengthened his conviction. Nationaland East was seen by Mningogwa, who has been touring Zimbabwe's four provinces. As a bastion for the governing ZANU-PF party. He praised the province's presence at the event, saying their resounding backing had increased his confidence in a quick triumph. Today, I discovered that Mashonoland East had the highest attendance rate. Province of Masvingo, the cup is empty. This is the biggest throng I've ever seen. Mashonoland East. You have my deepest gratitude, he exclaimed. The nation's ruling party, ZANU-PF, has made every effort to gather supporters for Umnengogwa star-studded rallies from all parts of the nation, including school children. Kembo Mohodi, the second secretary of the party and a former vice president, thanked the supporters of Mashonoland East and urged them to use their big turnout at the gathering to cast their votes. We appreciate Mashonoland East's large turnout in support of our event. Come August 23rd, I implore you all to vote for the government, said Mohodi. Where's Nelson Chamisa of the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC seeks 6 million votes? Umningogwa has set a goal of 5 million to ensure his win. Election day has been eagerly anticipated, and both candidates have rallied their fans and run arduous campaigns across the nation. Umningogwa's speech included a political message as well as a call for peace in light of recent political violence. The president underlined the necessity of harmony and unity saying, as the Second Republic, we require peace in the nation first and foremost. Let's work together as a nation to transform Zimbabwe into an African gem. The country anticipates with bated breath which candidate will win the election and guide Zimbabwe into the future as election day approaches.